Hi, dear friends and partners. I'm Luna from the Intercom Products Department of Aquavox. Today in this video, I'm gonna introduce you the Aquavox vehicle access control solution, including the products used and its setup. First, the ACR CIP12 is a long-range access control reader that operates at ultra-high frequency, offering stable car reading performance. The ACR CID12 is a countless ultra-high frequency desktop car reader with a USB plug-and-play design. With it, you can easily obtain car codes. In our solution, the Aquavox door form or SS control terminal is connected to the entrance lock and it is connected to the ACR CRP12 via vegan. When users drive in, the car reader will identify the tag on the windshield of the card and transmit the data to the door form. When the verification passes on the door form, the gate will be opened. Before deploying the devices, we can set them up with corresponding tools. The ACR CIP12 needs a 12 volt power supply. Find the red and black wires of the device, one representing VCC and another GND. Connect the VCC wire to the positive wire of the power adapter. Connect the GND to the negative wire. Make sure the connections are firm and secure. Power on the card reader. It will beep once and the red indicator light stays on. Connect it with your computer through USB. Open the ACR CIP12 tool. Enter the username and password. Both are admin by default. Set the connection type to USB. Click Connect. When your computer detects and connects to the device, Connect Successful will display. Since the device works with door phones while vegan, we need to set up the vegan feature. Click Vegan Settings. For data transmission, Set the vegan format the same as the vegan car reader mode set in the door form. You can also set up the device power, which determines the car reading distance. The larger the number, the longer the distance. To learn about the explanations of other parameters, please search for the device menu on our knowledge base. Click Save Changes. Disconnect the device and unplug the USB. Next. Let's proceed to set up the desktop car reader ACR CID12. Connect the device to your computer through USB. It will beep once and the blue light stays on. Open the ACR CID12 tool. Click Connect and Connect Successful will display. Set the output format to hex. Set star bytes, output lens, and view double zero based on the vegan format selected in the ACR CRP12. If the vegan format is 26, set the star bytes to 9 and output length to 3 and check double zero. In this case, the door form can identify the card code, the same as the card reader can read. If the vegan format is 34, set them to 0 and 4 and do not check view double zero. If it is 58, Set them to 0 and 7 and not check view double zero. Click Save Changes. Before using the card issuer to read cards, disconnect the software. Next, we need to set up the door form, configure vegan, and assign the tag to the user. The door form R29 can be networked and powered by PoE. Find the device IP by IP scanner on the same network. Enter the IP in the browser. Enter the username and password. If it is a new device, the initials are both admin. Click Intercom Vegan. Set the vegan card reader mode the same as the vegan format set in the ACR CRP12. Here we choose vegan 26. Check the relays to be triggered. Then go to the Intercom user interface. Here we click Add to create a new user. Set the username and find the RF card part. We can see the cursor is blinking. At the moment, place the card on the card issuer. The card code will display automatically. 
check the release the user can open, and apply the schedule before clicking Submit. Lastly, connect the door form and ACR CRP12 through Wigand. Make sure you cut off the power before wiring. Find the white, green, and white and black wires of the ACR CRP12. They represent Wigand D1, D0, and GND respectively. Connect them to the corresponding ports on the back of the R29s. Make sure the connections are secure and firm. Now, power on the devices. When the ACR CRP12 identifies the card, the door is opened. That's all for this video. Be sure to subscribe to our video channel because we are going to make more videos and hope you can learn more about Aquavox products. See you next time.